Well, let's talk about what you were at this weekend. Sure. Which is, of course, the E-League Last Chance Qualifiers uh, for Injustice 2. So yeah. this is to get into the basically the main E-League event. Last chance for players to make it in there. How many qualified? Only the top two. Only the top two. So that means uh, in seventh place, Perfect Legend and Beyond Toxin did not make it Correct. in. Correct. Uh, fifth place, the BXA Star Charger and Hot R Rewind did not make it in. Fourth place, RNG White Boy did not make it in. Yep. Uh, third place, Eris Nivik did not make it in. But in second place, Circa Forever King is now into the E League event. And first place, PXP, a Foxy Grandpa has made it in. Yeah, they're both very deserving. Of yeah. course. They're, they're both two of the best players in the world. I think that's cool. I, I'm just happy because I know a Foxy Grandpa had. Trouble with the game at the start, yeah. and he, he's just it's really clicked for him. Now, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Really, really, he's been doing well for a while. Now, yes, so, and so I, I think that's I think that's great. I'm really happy that he made it. He's he's from the UK, so that's really cool. You got the European contingent. Uh, I uh, am happy as well that Forever King is there because he's been so good for yeah, so long. Uh -huh. So I think that's great. And but, I hope he just Batman's people to death because that character. That is basically all he does. He, yeah. <laughs> oh look, famous <laughs> top tier counter picker. Forever King. Uh huh. Ex almost exclusively mains Batman. Right. Uh huh. He there you go. Anybody else. He That's mean there. It else. is yeah. the proof. Uh -huh. He's very good character. Uh, mm -hmm. Nivik almost made it. Nivik got into. So there was no grand finals. Didn't matter. Right. Was, oh. Okay. There was no. Okay, okay. There was no prize pool. So technically, pool. Foxy Grandpa and Forever King tied. Kind of. I mean, uh, you know. He, Forever King lost once, and, and Foxy oh, Grandpa did not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. 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 Whatever. Um. Anyway, Nivik. Got to winners finals, and then he played against Forever King in losers finals. So he had two chances to qualify, mm -hmm. and neither one worked out for him. And he, his flight is ridiculous. He flies from Greece, which is where he's from, Ugh. to the Middle East because it's cheaper to fir fly there first, uh. then to the U.S. And with all of the the layovers and like the bus rides and and all all of it together, it's forty three hours. What? Yep, it's it's two days. He travels for two days, and and he didn't make it in the E League. So I was, I you know I'm happy that for everything is there. He's a cool dude, and and uh, I will enjoy oh, having him. Man, but, um, that man, sounds like a pain. That sucks. That is a pain. That so. sucks. Uh, <laughs> White boy. I mean, I'm I'm sad for that too. I feel like he's one of the best players in the world. He won't be there. Uh, it was really cool to watch Star Charger and Rewind. They both played really really well. They're both okay. good. Per Perfect Legend um, did great. Uh, I'm looking for, and I don't even see it. Finally, Slayer got 17th. Whoa! What happened? He got, he got pieced out early. Yeah, I see him way down there. Okay. And okay. then I think you got to go to page two for this. Let's see. Let's see where he is here. Uh, yeah, Biohazard got 25th. Oh my god! He got he got dunked. What do you think that is? Do you think that that means just the talent is getting that much stronger in the game? Partly, but the other part is that. He lost to Oki's, a Grodd player. Mm -hmm. Nobody plays Grodd. There's like, four, uh, there's like three those, Grodd players. Yeah, uh, and it's like, not. it's not just that there are like three Grodd players. It's that you cannot get experience against Grodd unless you're playing like one of those very few. Because mm -hmm. the, the difference in level between them and anybody else playing that character is so big. Right. So if you don't have that X, uh, then you're, you're going to be in, in, in trouble. <laughs> But still, it went down to... I didn't watch it, but I heard it went down to the very final decision. Oh, okay. And in game number five. So if that hadn't happened... Who knows, right? Who knows? I mean, but, like, it's it's also one of those situations that, like, you know, how you were saying, but uh, I always keep saying this, that whenever you run into a Fang in Street Fighter V in a tournament, you just got to assume that they're really good. Hmm. Because why would you still be using that character, you know, kind of in that situation? Yeah. So I imagine if you're running into a Grodd, yeah, it's going to be scary. Yeah, and, and Okis is a good player. He's, he's not unknown. He just doesn't travel very often. He's more of right. an online player mostly. But uh, he's, he's a known guy, he, and he certainly played really well. He made it to uh, winner's finals of his pool. There were only four pools. There weren't that many people there. Okay. Uh, so he did really well. But okay. Anyway, that was the, the results there. Good okay. tournament. Cool. Well, that kind of just leads us right into the next topic. Do you want to take a break before we do that, though? Or do you want to just go just do it? it? Let's just do it. Let's talk about the E-League. That's right. So this sets up E-League, and this sets up uh, 
How many players are going to be in there? There will be 16 players 16 in Injustice players 2's total. Elite. So 14 were determined beforehand, and two were made it in through the last chance qualifiers. So the right? top eight at the Pro Series Finals, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Then the top two from the uh, Latin American League. Okay. Then the top two from the Path to Pro, which was the European League. Right, okay. And then the okay. top two from the Hometown Heroes, which was this like ongoing series of tournaments that happened where you, you like couldn't enter it if you were making top eights at majors or something, whatever. Mm -hmm. is it, is it, I, I heard one of the Latin America guys couldn't make it out because of visa issues. Right? Correct. So Conqueror can't make it, mm -hmm. which means that instead it's going to be Hey George. Um, oh, okay. Who is a Joker Blue Beetle player. Right, I remember. So that's actually yeah, pretty sick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. I'm happy okay. about that. So it'll be Hey George and Killer Shinnok, who's from Brazil, Flash player, etc. From the hometown here is, is, is Emperor Nyx with Darkseid and Nubcakes with Batman. So you get, you get New York and you get um, okay. LA. Uh, then from the path to pro, this is unfortunate. Both <laughs> Russian players who got first and second place can't make it because of Visa. Oh. Big bummer. So the third place <sighs> gets to go Happy Pow, who's going to be cool to watch. He's, he's kind of a flashy player. Where's he from? Uh, France. Okay. And then this is the blow-up. Okay. Fourth place probably cheated to get where he is. What? Probably Wait, cheated. Wait, how? Uh, so the guy who won is named Bambuka from Russia. And basically, he plays a set of characters. I forget which characters he plays, but he plays some characters. However, when this online tournament was happening, the characters being used were totally different. And they were being used at a way higher level than anybody had ever seen Bambuka play before. So he probably cheated. Probably had some of his He friends. probably had somebody come over and play on his account. So now, if that's true, uh, and it probably is, He's going to come to E-League. Exposed. And just get pooped on. Oh, it's going to be horrible. Wow. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be horrible. And, I mean, are you guys going to call it out? Oh, 100% I'm going to okay. call it out. <laughs> For sure, of course. That's absurd. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I haven't had any production meetings on that, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm the one. I'm the one with the voice, all right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure I'm going to say it. Because uh, uh, I think that's crazy. But it's it's just it's a tough situation for everybody involved. Like, it's not certain that he cheated. Maybe he just was like all of a sudden a fantastic player of that character. He had, like, his that that character didn't have any gear even because like he had never used it before. You know what I mean? It's like it's like very clear. <laughs> but maybe it's real. So we'll see. I'm surprised he wasn't just like oh I I, I can't make it anymore. Like. Unless he just wants a free trip to the U.S. Allegedly. Right? So. Allegedly. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, and well. in, in getting fourth, he outplaced, I think it was uh, Oslo de Mazza, who's, a, who's an Italian player, and interestingly enough, a law student. And mm. uh, and he was, he looked into, you know, <laughs> what could he do here? <laughs> that's funny. I don't think, there's much, I don't think there's much recourse, right. but uh, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. That's going to be a, that's gonna be a blow up. Well, so then from the last chance qualifier, you got Foxy and, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. King. And then the Pro Series top eight, I think, is probably the real meat of this. Okay. Um, Who are those players? Those are the top eight there. So that was Sonic Fox, first place, then Samij, second place. Then Hayate, then Gross, yes. then Theo, then Dragon, then Tekken Master, and Honeybee. Okay. Uh, that that is a really good lineup, and I mean, last chance falls. Foxy and King; those guys could go really, really far too. So those those ten, I think that's going to be good. So I, my question is, how is this seeded? We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. So it's, that's it's unknown not clear. so far. It is. It is unknown. Un so we don't know what the first round matchups or anything mm -hmm. like that. Do we know the format? Is it going to be three out of five double elimination bracket? Is it going to be no. pools? Is it going to be no, no? Okay. So I'm not sure yet. Not not sure. But those those ten <laughs> the people who made top eight and then the two from last chance qualifiers that's going to be I think the the. Yeah, that's the beefiest part that's of it. The meat of the tournament. But I'm going to be interested to see what Nubcakes does because Nubcakes has got, I think he got ninth at Evo. He's like, he's a really good player. Mm -hmm. But I mean, hey, George, Joker, Blue Beetle, like you said, I mean, I want to. Be cool to watch. Because the thing is, we just talked about how uh, Biohazard got beat by a Grodd, right? What if people don't know how to fight Joker or Blue Beetle? Could very well happen. I think he's, he's going to go winless. <laughs> 
seems like a very nice guy. I, I played against him online, mm-hmm. uh, and and he's he's definitely he's definitely a good player. Okay. Um, but man, if uh, if 2017 Ultra David takes any games off you, you, you ugh, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that, Damn. That is that is not a strong competitor. All right, 2017 Ultra David is not a very good player. So. Oh, man. We'll see. We'll see. But it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to watch. Those are all. There's a lot of good players there, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and a lot of different variety. A lot of different regions represented. Even among those. The, the sort of 10 who I think are probably going to be the most uh, uh, interesting to watch. There's a ton of character variety. There's a ton of regional variety. There's a ton of different play styles represented. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to ask you the hard question. Sonic Fox. Over the field. Yo, yeah. Really? Over the field. I me. was going to say Sonic Fox or the field, but you just Sonic Fox. That's it. Straight up. Huh? Not even a tough question. No, no thinking necessary. I don't think so. Wow. Uh, okay. Certainly, okay. it's it's certainly it's possible that he loses. Yeah, you know, he's mm-hmm. not he's not Superman. He's he can lose. I just I would be sub- very surprised. So what would that bring him? He would bring him over five hundred thousand. I guess it would. Like in in only like the major tournaments too. Like we That's, haven't even yeah. talked about all the small stuff. Sure. This guy has definitely made over half a million already in just fighting game events. Pretty good. Congrats to Sonic it's Fox for actually, winning the league. It's like you, when you say the number, you're like, wait, no, wait, did I mean 50,000? Because it doesn't right, even yeah. sound right, right? Yeah. Half a million dollars. I hear you. So, no, yeah. I, I, of course he's the favorite. I think he's the prohibitive favorite. I feel like he's going to come into this, and he even tweeted about this. He was like, look, I'm putting everything else on hold. I'm just going to be practicing for E-League. Right. Because he's, uh, you know, he got second place Marvel. at Marvel yeah. this, this past mm-hmm. weekend. And Canada Cup is this weekend. Do we forget to change the title to this? Is did we forget to update the title? Because people are asking about Watson right now. Oh, um, I did update the title, but you maybe you had started the broadcast too early. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, my bad. Well, sorry about that. Yeah, we'll I guess reset that in a bit. Okay. Um, anyway, so he he could go to Canada Cup and try to get the stone there, right? Battle for the stone, mm-hmm, etc. Mm-hmm. But um, that's not going to be the focus. It's just going to be right. injustice. So right. if if he really concentrates on it, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't expect him to lose, but okay. you know, we'll see. Okay. Uh, yeah, people want me to talk about the commentary situation. That's fine. I'm cool with that. What's the situation with the commentary? Because I know, obviously, you know, people wanted ketchup and mustard to be on there. Yeah, that's you know, Darth Arma and stuff like that, right? So, yeah, a lot of people wanted Mr. Aquaman. Which <laughs> I think all, all that would have been good. Uh, they went with uh, Katana Prime and me, and then the previous E League mm-hmm, staff, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. was. Say Jam, Tasty Steve, Rip, and Z, mm-hmm. uh, and so they're all back again. Say Jam is is great. I mean, he knows the game mm-hmm. really well for sure. Uh, I don't. He, he's he commented on the Injustice Pro Circuit right like, of mm-hmm. this year, mm-hmm. so <laughs> I don't think there's any concern there. But uh, certainly, people were concerned about Steve, Tasty Steve, Rip, and Z. Uh, and you know, I've been playing with Rip and with. Steve, mm-hmm. uh, online and then in person too. When we were there in Atlanta this past weekend, and they 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 know the game better than you might think. Uh, and they commentated at Last Chance, Chance Qualls, and from what I've heard, they did pretty well. And mm-hmm. and I saw that they got some feedback that was you know, thanks for being there, pleasantly surprised, etc. Oh, okay, okay. So cool. I'm I'm happy about that. Um, Z, I think is gonna. He doesn't know the game very well. Right. right, I don't think there's, there's no surprise there, but he, I'm going to be playing with him. We're going to be training it up, so I, okay. I hope okay. to instill some of that. But on top of that, I think I think their thought process may have been like we want somebody who's not the expert. We want like the role of hmm, interesting. You know, uh, this game is certainly has a hardcore fan base, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. like isn't as well known so as like a Street the Fighter right or something. Right? So exactly, like asking <clears throat> the questions. I think I think that's the intention for his role. Gotcha. Uh, and to provide, I guess, whatever, be funny and stuff. Right. Uh-huh. You know? uh-huh. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, it also reminds me of kind of the situation in 2013 Evo. I think it was 13 when Melee came back and they threw me into top eight for Melee. Was it's also just the experience factor, right? You have these people who have done E League already. It's nice to bring back people who know kind of what to expect. Yeah. And I feel like that's probably a lot of it as well. So they just brought Z because he's he's used to the production. He's used yeah. to what's going on I'm over sure, there. I'm sure you're right. And then they that way they can bring in you and Katana Prime, and maybe next time they'll expand on to a little bit more because now you and Katana Prime are the, you know, injustice knowledgeable like main guys there, right? And then they can bring on other people and stuff, but... 
I, I, I mean, there's no lack of, of experience on ketchup and mustard side. They, mm-hmm. they did ESPN for uh, right. IPS finals, and they've done you know TV for other stuff in the past. So it's not lack of experience generally. I think that I think you're right that it's probably one that they that they just want the same guys yeah, that they want yeah, the familiarity yeah. uh-huh. that E League itself does. Yeah, and Croton, Yeah, I got a ton of flack for the Smash Brothers thing. Yes, Everybody was sure. super mad at me. And I was like, it's not my decision. I didn't want to do this. And I was like, next year I will 100% not do this. Like, and I am, you know, it was interesting because like I tried to make it clear that, that this is exactly why it happened. And literally they just chose the only person who knew anything about Melee. <laughs> That's a true story. I remember that. <laughs> at the time. So, yeah. Yeah, among people who had done it before. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I studied a lot. I wanted to make sure I did not come in there. But, like, man, even nowadays, thinking back on it, where I was talking about Mango and Hungry Box and all these guys, like, I know so much more about them now. Like, back then, I was just like, okay, so this guy's good. This guy's good, you know, and I had... But now, it's yeah, like, I sure. know so much more, and it's it's cool. And, and frankly, honestly, I mean, I had to go through very similar stuff this weekend. So, you know, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. So. Yeah. Uh... uh Again, so Steve and Rip are definitely practicing up already. Mm-hmm. They they have been. Steve has a good he has a good Robin and Batman. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's he's a legit player, and and Rip is he was legit, and now is trying to work on getting back to that. I think. Uh, but yeah, Z we're we're gonna be working with. We're gonna be working with. Okay. Uh, well, I so I certainly get like community wanting. Yeah. Ketchup and mustard and stuff. And I like, I, I definitely get it. They had that. They had the response post, and I, yeah. you know, they were just like, "Like, it's cool." Like, you know, yeah. we would have loved to have been there, but we totally get it. So, you know, it's not one of those situations where it's just like people were robbed or anything like that. You know, so hopefully, yeah. hopefully, he's okay with it. But yeah, I, uh, we'll, well, we'll uh, see. We'll I mean, certainly do our best. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think uh, ketchup and mustard are fantastic ca- uh, casters, basically. But didn't they go oh, to something sure. else this weekend or? Were they not at something This weekend? Else? Yeah, because I swear They've I... They've been doing s- Quake stuff. Uh, oh, was it Quake? Okay. I don't know about this weekend. I'm just... Because I swear I, I saw Tempest that, Rob take a picture of one of them, but yeah. it might not have been him. It might have been somebody else. I don't know, man. So There's a lot um, of people who look exactly just like the two people. Right. Um, okay. Well, uh, anything else that you wanted to talk about the E-League preview? All right. L- since the question was so damn easy... Sonic Fox, who do you think has the best chance to upset him right now? Mm, a better question. Yes. Who do you do? like? Name two people that you feel like have the ability that could take this tournament and be an upset over Sonic Fox. Dragon. Dragon. Definitely Dragon. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, I mean, like, honestly, yeah, I was gonna, mm, the maybe way, Theo. The only way that I could see something like, like if somehow Samij avoids Sonic Fox in the bracket, I feel like Samij can win this. Like, mm. let's say Sonic Fox goes into loser's bracket early on, and then he loses in loser's finals, and Samij sure. makes it all the way to winner's finals. I oh, feel sure. like Samij could take this. Because I swear every tournament he goes to, like, Sonic Fox is the only person he loses to. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. If, if Sonic Fox somehow goes out early, if he gets, like, the worst intestinal, intestinal cramps of his life, and he just can't think, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he forgot to wear the tinfoil hat that day, and the government's just pumping mm-hmm, all the thoughts mm-hmm, in his head, mm-hmm. uh, and somehow he loses... Then I feel like all bets are off because certainly among among the rest, I, I think I would identify Dragon Theo and Samij as probably like the, okay. the most likely to, okay. to do the best. But any of those eight guys, Samij, Hayate, Gross, Theo, Dragon, Tekken Master, Honeybee, uh, Foxy Grandpa, King, any of those guys, I feel like could win like in, the, they, in the same way if, if Sonic if Fox, Sonic is, Fox yeah, is gone uh, and they go into losers you know, again, they go through winners and he and Sonic Fox loses in losers finals any one of those guys could win Possible. at this point okay fair enough fair enough okay yeah okay. yeah that's right the furry hat actually is made out of tin foil it's there so that his thoughts are not you know intruded upon mm-hmm. by the federal government I thought everybody knew that it's pr- pretty powerful actually 
What was interesting, though, is that Evo, I mean, he had to prove a point. He had to take it off to show that the government could not control him. Sometimes, you know, the thoughts just start bouncing around in your own head. So if you have the tinfoil hat on, they can't escape. They're just in there, you know? It's, you gotta okay. let them out. Yeah. Sometimes enough, you gotta let them out. Okay. Yeah. Well, we wanna take a quick break, and when we come back, we will talk about some DBFZ, and uh, actually a lot of really kind of interesting small topics that I think that, uh, that I'd like to talk about. So Let's do it. We'll be right back, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> 